guys, what is good? I really hope we're all doing okay. It is an Aston Villa Liverpool preview as the two sides collide at Villa Park on Monday night. A massive game for Villa, not so much for Liverpool now that Champions League qualification has been secured for Jurgen Klopp's side. But with the conquest of finishing on 300 wins for Jurgen Klopp, currently stood on 298. Liverpool's pursuit will be ending these next two games on a good note. But as for Villa, who can still qualify for the Champions League if they pick up, I think, three points from their next three games, have a little bit to do. However, after being knocked out with the Europa League by Olympiacos by six goals to two over two legs, um, they are out on a bit of a wimp at the moment. So they've just got the league to kind of settle the score. They're kind of playing a lot... Uh, They've kind of dipped, their, their form has fluctuated. Villa Park, they were very, very good at the start of the season in regards to winning a lot of games at home. Uh, at home. That home form has since fluctuated. However, they are still a force to be reckoned with at home. And I think when they tune up an atmosphere on Monday night, Liverpool will have to be on their toes to get a good result. Liverpool's last game was against Tottenham, and that was a 4 to victory uh, at Anfield and obviously a good result to get back on track after a very difficult spell and difficult few weeks where there's been a lot of animosity, a lot of bad blood, a lot of sour feeling in the mouths of a lot of fans and a lot of people watching the club. But it was good to get a result and I think in the way that we did it, yes, it's still some cause for concern defensively, a lot of erratic play. However, that being said, offensively when you're scoring goals and when Liverpool are at ease going forward, we can punish teams from left, right and centre. And I think going forward against a Villa side, let's hope that we can kind of get a good performance in offensively. Defensively, obviously I'm not expecting a, an outstanding performance defensively, just purely based on the logic that... Um, we haven't really been played, def played defensively astute all season. We've conceded a lot of goals um, and we've usually conceded first. So we need to be a lot more on it. And I think against a Villa side who, yes, after a disappointing few weeks in Europe, um, yes, they'll have a bit of an opportunity to recover and bounce back again. Uh, but it's massive for them in, in regards to obviously getting into the Champions League. Uh, I know Tottenham obviously have a few tricky games as well who they're battling it out at the, in those positions with. But that's what we usually see with teams who are around 4th, 5th and 6th. They start well and they dip towards the back end of the season because, you, you know what I mean, the, the volume of games and the intensity of the games catch up with you. And I think that could play into how this game goes because I think there's a lot more riding on Villa. But because they have that home atmosphere, it could really pose a problem for Liverpool. Uh, just because also Liverpool don't have too much riding on it. However, I think if we're going to really analyse the game from a point of view that if Liverpool start the game strong, very much to how they like how they started against Tottenham, I think Liverpool get a good result here. But it's just about if if we start strong. And if we start the way we did against Tottenham on Monday night and we start like that, we'll win this game. But it's if we start on the back foot and we let Villa build up the atmosphere. Because that's what we've done and we've struggled to do this season is that we've struggled to really take the tension out of the game. And when there's a lot riding on it for one team, and when implications are quite clear for one side or, or both, we kind of feed into that chaos and it just provokes a more erratic reaction. So we need to take the sting out of the game. And that's why I think it's important. We have the likes of Elias, who's been playing well last few weeks. We have the likes of McAllister, players who I think... A top quality players who can just take this thing out of the game. Look, Aston Villa have a few injuries. You've got Kamara out injured. I think Buendi is out injured and Tielemans. All, I think, ACL injuries, I think, or, or knee injuries. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they've got a few injury problems. So they're a bit of a wounded animal, especially after coming out of Europe. So Liverpool have to be on their toes and we have to be able to be in a position where, in order to capitalise, we have to be in a position of strength. And I think going into these last two games, there's a lot of emotional tension built building around you know, the club with obviously that Wolves game in sight. But I think it's important Liverpool detract away from that and tr try and focus on getting a good result here. And then following that game on Monday night, we can start looking forward to bidding a successful farewell for Jurgen Klopp because it will be emotional. It will be all of that sort of stuff. We've got to hope Jurgen Klopp doesn't feed into the emotional chaos that is anticipated on Monday night because a yellow card for him would mean he'd be suspended for that game on uh, on net, a week Sunday. So uh, we need to be on all our best behaviour and I think we need to just have a disciplined emphatic performance. I think the last time Liverpool were in a bit, uh, uh, faced Aston Villa towards the back end of a season, 
we it was the season where we went on to win the FA Cup and the League Cup, and we faced them with a few games to go in the league, and we got a good result. I, I can't remember who scored it on the day, but I think it was maybe in Taki Minamino. I'm not too sure, but either way, guys, we need a good result here, and I think Villa Park is a tricky place to go, especially on a Monday night. But I'm going to go for Liverpool 2-1 victory here. Let me know, guys, what your take is. What is your thoughts? What is your score predictions? And let me know how you feel the game will pan out. Do you think Liverpool will turn up? And if we do so, do, we think, do you think we blow Villa out of the water? Or do you feel that we're kind of doing Villa a disservice here? Do you think they can impose themselves to a higher level and really cause Liverpool some problems on Monday night? Let me know what you guys think. I'd be keen and intrigued to know what they are. Uh, but yeah, see you all next time uh, on the channel. Make sure you smash a like, smash that subscribe, and I will see you all next time.